The Indian government has appointed a new chief for the Indian Space Agency, ISRO. Dr. V. Narayanan, who presently serves as the director of ISRO's Rocket and Satellite Engine Development Facility, will take charge from the 14th of January, just barely a week from now. Now, Dr. Narayanan will succeed the incumbent ISRO chairman, Dr. S. Somanath, who has delivered some stellar success in the course of the last three years. Naveer Narayanan has served ISRO for more than 40 years and is the Indian Space Agency's senior most director. And over the last six and a half years, he's in fact headed ISRO's Liquid Propulsion Systems Center, India's rocket and satellite engine development facility. Now, hailing from Kanyakumari in Tamil Nadu, Dr. Narayanan pursued his MTech and PhD from the Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur. Dr. Narayanan led the development of India's indigenous cryogenic rocket engine and his facility has been working on building India's future rocket engines. And Vyond's Siddharth MP recently caught up with Dr. V. Narayanan to speak about India's most powerful rocket engine. Over the last one year, India has conducted multiple test firings of a sophisticated and its most powerful yet rocket engine known as a semi-cryogenic, a kerosene and liquid oxygen engine. So it's his facility, the Liquid Propulsion System Center, that uh, does the testing, design, development and all of this uh, pertaining to new rocket engines. So we're joined by Dr. Naran. So tell us, huge progress in one year? Uh, really, uh, as you are aware, we are developing a 200 thrust uh, liquid oxygen and kerosene based rocket engine and we had a small setback last year. After that, we have studied thoroughly, we have carried out a lot of experiments, and to our credit, we have successfully completed four ignition tests in the newly commissioned semi cryo facility, which was, which was declared to the country, which was dedicated to the country by Honorable Prime Minister. Now we are in the process of building the rocket engine, and we are going for the test program. Maybe in another two to two and a half years, we are planning to complete the entire development. And also, we have completed the human rating test activities of L110 cryo stage and the C25 cryo stage. In the C25 uh, cryo stage, as uh, uh, some of you may be knowing, we have enhanced the capability of the uh, stage from 28 ton propellant loading to 32 ton propellant loading, powered by an engine with 22 ton thrust. And this development is almost completed, and we have built the first stage for the G1 mission. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.